hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel let's build it and as i mentioned in my last video today we are going to learn about the localization in the application so you have uh, might be watched many applications that are using multiple languages in their applications so i'm gonna show you how they uh, do this and uh, the simplest method of localization in your application that can be easily managed and you guys won't be confused uh, how to use uh, the key and value pairs so in today's video i'm going to show you uh, about the uh, storyboard concept like if you are using storyboards in your application so how you can localize the storyboards and uh, in uh, maybe in the next video i will show you how you can use uh, localization if you are not going to use storyboard if you are not using the storyboard in your project so uh, stay with me and uh, keep watching my videos so i will show you step by step how you can localize your application project here which name i uh, use localization and uh, i have a main.storyboard file so to do localization we need some labels some text here so i am adding a label and uh, giving it a text like hello imran okay so it is greeting me <laughs> and i will add it at center in the center of the screen let me add it vertically also in container okay so you can see it is hello imran in english language so if i want to convert it in another language like if my application supported other language uh, for example german italian or chinese japanese anything so i need to allow my application to use these languages for doing this uh, we need to add, enable the localization in our application so uh, as i mentioned uh, in the introduction so if you are using the storyboard uh, there is a process of uh, implementing the localization which is uh, i found very lengthy so uh, i prefer, uh, preferably use the localizable strings so what you need to do is uh, just click on the new file scroll to strings it is very simple uh, i will show you and easy to manage localizable make sure you give the name exactly this uh, i don't know why but uh, export only recognize this otherwise it will treat this file as a simple string file okay so just click on the create so you can see the localizable string is here now let me click on the localize so as our application has only one language right now it is english so it is showing the english uh, to allow it to have more than english language you just go on the project click on this project file and click on here uh, suppose i uh, i need chinese traditional to have in my application so i will click it i am not going to use this storyboard base file uh, and i can also uncheck this launch string file i am just uh, checking this localizable string file and click on the finish make sure if if you uh, don't find your string file here uh, just check the uh, its name if it is uh, uh, like mismatch in the name it will not show uh, show up here okay so it should be localizable dot strings file okay so click on the finish so now you can see here is an arrow it will uh, when you click on it it will expand the view and you can see localizable string it is a english and this is the chinese traditional okay so what we are going to do next is we'll create an ib outlet for this go to assistant click here and label name sorry label name okay close it go here now uh, uh, the string file format is like key and value pairs so make sure you uh, give a unique unique key for each value right 
so i preferably use uh, this pattern like the controller name so my controller name is view controller dot uh, it is a placeholder maybe uh, if it is an action so you can give it a name action like if you have a alert view or some buttons name uh, like add open close so you can uh, give action then dot add so it can be uh, reused anywhere okay and uh, uh, for now we have a placeholder kind of thing so i am giving it a placeholder dot um, name or maybe username because it is greeting a user i am a user imran malik okay so it is greeting me hello imran so i give it uh, give it a view controller dot placeholder dot username and for english it is hello imran okay and i will copy it and will paste it here as it is but in chinese it should be something else so we will go on the google translator i will paste it here and change it to chinese traditional so i can not read it what is it uh, ni hao yi i don't know what is what it is uh, pronounced so i will just simply copy it and paste it here all right so we have a english string and the corresponding chinese string so now this is the key that we are going to use here so to manage this uh, manage uh, this localization very easily uh, i will recommend you to create a localizable file localization string so i will use l10n l10n stands for the localization so spelling uh, 10 means the uh, in between letters from l to n so l10n click create i will create a class l n and it will have a subclass like place holder and uh, i will create a static let username and as localizable string localize the string and i will paste my key here and comment should be anything comment could be anything like uh, if if this key is not found in the string file so what should be printed so we can give it here otherwise it will print this key on your label or anywhere you are using this key so that means uh, this key uh, corresponding value is not found in this string files okay so how it will be used so just copy it and go on your controller type the label name dot text equal to l10n dot uh, placeholder dot username try to build it let me change my simulator's language to again english first i will show you it in english how it is working now let me run it it should show the uh, correct english letters english word what we have written on the file main story board file so it is showing hello imran correctly okay so now we will test it in uh, chinese language so here it is I'm just to rearrange it to first. It will reboot your simulator. This is done. Let me run it again. Now it should show in the Chinese language. Yeah, it is showing correctly in the Chinese language as well. So it is very simple to use the localizable strings here. Uh, now you can add any number of uh, like languages here. Okay, so now let me show you if we are going to use the 
German. I will uncheck this both again. Click finish. Now you can see here is a German language and the localizable string also have the German key here. Okay, and it is automatically copy the uh, previous values like previous key values what we have written in the few uh, our previous files like English and Chinese localization files. Okay, so we don't have to copy all the uh, all the text from the English or Chinese. What we need to replace is just this value so go on this and again change is to maybe dutch i think it is it is german so german i think it is dutch language where is dutch here it is so i will paste it here okay and now let me Change the simulator language as well. I think this is the Dutch language. And if I run my project again, it should print this Hallo Imran. Yeah, it's correctly printing this. All right, guys, I think you have learned this localization and now you can add your localization in your application to support multiple languages. Okay, uh, but there are a few more things that localization should have. Uh, for example, suppose you have some uh, number, uh, numbers, like for example, you are uploading some images. So for uh, one image, it should show uploading one image or uploading image okay and if you are uploading more than one image like two images so it should show uploading images like the plural uh, format okay so for for plural uh, formats we have another localizable string uh, dic dictionary type of localizable string so i will show you in the next video uh, how you can do this to make the plural uh, localizable uh, work in your application so you can easily manage all the things otherwise you have to do some if and else condition multiple times like if the count is one so it should print this if the count is zero it should print this and if count is more than one it should print this so it is you know very bulky code it will make your uh, application very bulky and the line of code uh, got increase for each and every condition so the best solution for this is uh, localizable dic uh, dictionaries. Uh, I will show you in the next video. So stay tuned with my channel. And if you haven't subscribed and uh, my channel yet, so I will suggest you please subscribe it and uh, please share my videos with your colleagues and friends so they can also learn new things and uh, keep supporting my videos. Thank you so much. Bye bye.